Pre, ano yung edit mo? Napakadali lang. Gagawin mo lang, trim. Pag trim mo, tapos na. Export na agad. Pre, ano mo ako gano'ng kadali yun? Ginagawa ko nga, wala pang 30 minutes, tapos na ako. Export ko, wala pang 10 minuto, tapos na ako. Tapos puputak kayo dito ng... Ang baba naman! Tapos ay ko comment nyo yung rates ng mga professional. Ano ka tanga? Yo, what is up guys? Yo, Bits here and welcome back to another episode of Y News. So today, pag-uusapin natin ang isa sa mga pinaka-trending na topic ngayon at yun ay ang issue tungkol kay Zen Pro Gaming. Okay, so panigurado ako na pamilyar na kayo sa issue na nangyayari kay Zen Pro ngayon pero kung hindi, ganito yung nangyari. So si Zen Pro ay isang Filipino streamer. Mostly kilala siya sa kanyang stream sa PUBG Mobile. So recently nagkaroon siya ng issue dahil sa isang post sa Facebook page niya. Looking for gaming video editor. Requirements. 1080p, 60fps, and 50k bitrate. Dito sa susunod na part na to, nagkaroon ng issue ang mga editors, mga graphic artists, and some freelance artists sa kanya. So, ang rate ng pag-edit mo sa first 3 videos na gagawin mo para sa kanya is 200 pesos per video. Pero kapag nagustuhan nyo yung gawa mo and proficient ka sa work, tataasan nyo yung bayad mo to 300 to 500 pesos per video. At tulad nga ng sabi ko kanina, dito na nagkaroon ng issue ang mga freelance editors sa kanya. So, nung marami nang nagko-call out sa kanya and like, nagko-comment, binabash na siya, nag-respond siya sa comments sa kanyang post, uh, you do realize that my reference vid is just purely trim and no editing skills required. No transitions, no slow-mos, no fast-forward, nothing else but trim and export. You can literally make a video in just 30 minutes. Wow! Sadyang sa export na lang magkakatalo kung mahina ang PC. My exports take less than 10 minutes and 50k bitrate. Magkano ba dapat yung trim and export pre ng... 2 terabytes worth of files wherein you'll be able to make more than a hundred vids of content. 20,000 pesos para lang mag-trim at export sounds just about right though. Okay, so balik tayo dun sa post na ginawa niya. Masyadong mababa yung rates ng 200 per video and like kahit sabihin na natin 300 to 500 pesos per video. Kasi una, hindi lang trim yung binabayaran mo sa editor mo. There are a lot of resources involved in editing and making a video. Kahit sabihin mong trim lang, it is still a part of editing. So, hindi lang yung creative talent yung binabayaran mo sa editor mo. Um, you are also responsible for renting their computer, their electricity. Kasi kasama yun sa resources na dapat um, covered sa ibabayad mo sa editor na kukunin mo. And another thing na gusto kong i-point out is yung pagmamalaki niya na sinasabi niya, you can literally make a video in just 30 minutes. If I'm not mistaken, gusto niya ipa-edit sa editor na kuha na itong trabaho na to is yung mga highlights nung live stream niya. And if you guys go over sa Facebook page niya, eh, makikita nyo yung average length ng stream niya is maybe an hour and a half to two hours. So like making a video in 30 minutes, maybe kung siya yung nag-edit, oo. But if like kukuha siya ng editor, it would take a much longer time for the editor to edit because number one, kailangan i-download yung file from the internet and depende pa yun sa speed nung um, internet connection nung editor number two, kailangan pang i-review nung editor yung content 
and make decisions kung ano yung dapat isama at dapat tanggalin and number 3 obviously yung uh, export nakadepende pa rin sa setup ng editor kung gaano ka bilis yung pag uh, render ng video so 30 minutes definitely impossible para sa uh, editor maliban sa kanya he actually made a rant in one of his live streams shortly after i've already watched this video and let me tell you guys it's so funny how obnoxious arrogant and immature he is at um, handling criticism towards him it's really something so panoorin natin Gino G kayo umiyak hindi nyo nga alam kung ano i-edit huwag nang yun pre i-edit mo pre ano i-edit mo napakadali lang gagawin mo lang trim pag trim mo tapos na, export na agad. Pre, ano mo ako gano'ng kadali yun? Ginagawa ko na wala pang 30 minutes, tapos na ako. Export ko wala pang 10 minuto, tapos na ako. Tapos puputak kayo dito ng... Ang baba naman! Tapos ay ko comment nyo yung rates ng mga professional. Ano ka tanga? Bobo mo naman, pre! Okay guys, so itong napapanood nyo ngayon ay isang rare na breed ng hayop dito sa Pilipinas. At yun ay ang Iyakis Pinoyis. <laughs> so, yung pinaka-toxic na hayop sa buong kagubatan ng Pilipinas. Huwag kayo magkalat ng katangan sa ibang live pa nga. Eh, di ikaw gumawa. Kaya nga ako gumagawa, pre! Ako nga gumagawa, eh! Sino ba gumagawa? Ako, di ba? <laughs> Patangan nyo! Kaya nagahanap ng editor. Kaya nagahanap. Kaya nagahanap. Eh, kayo, puro kayo putak dito. Kala nyo naman, may mga ebas kayo. Ano bang ebas nyo, pre? Typical Iyakis Pinoyis. O kapag binabatuan ng criticism, unang-una niyang gagawin, iiyak. <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't know. Ilan taon na ba to? So, uh, para sa akin, ha, um, if you cannot handle um, criticism, then you should not be like a public figure or a influencer or something that is not the right path for you because from start to end, you are going to get criticized for every single thing that you do, either good or bad. So if you cannot handle criticism that well, then you are gonna have a rough time, buddy. And that seems to be like the case with this guy, Zenpro, which clearly is like a child trapped in a man's body. <laughs> Give chance to others Pagbigyan natin itong mga bugok na to Pa-edit ka sa Fiverr.com 5 to 10 dollars for 1 minute feed Alam nyo ba yung mga pinapa-edit dun sa Fiverr? Professional Bakit? Kasi Kasi Professional din yung edit Ha? Huwag kang tanga pre Ano ba yung edit mo? Trim lang pre Babayaran kita ng limang daan para sa trim Nakita mo yun? Nakita mo yung common sense dun pre So yung point na ginagawa niya dito sa live stream is the same dun sa comment na ginawa niya sa kanyang post. Kiniklaim niya na trim lang naman yung edit na pinapagawa niya which is apparently relatively easy para sa kanya. Sa ano niya, sa point of view niya, more than enough na yung 500 pesos sa pagtitrim mo. Which, mind you, is not really an easy task. Lalo na kung hindi video mo or unfamiliar ka sa uh, video na ine-edit mo kung walang binigay na guide or like timestamps yung content creator sa'yo para mas mabilis yung workflow. Kahit na trim, uh, medyo mahirap pa rin yan. Ito yan, alam ko kung gaano katagal. Hindi mo tayo tanga dito, pre. Ang iniisip nyo kasi, professional race. Kung tayo sa professional race tumingin, Tignan nyo, kung may trabaho nyo ba, magkano ba dapat ang bayad sa trabaho nyo? Hindi yung putang ina, napakatang ang puta. Ba't 200 lang? Kalma, kalma. Oh, buraot pa nga. Buraot pa nga. Kalma. Naku. Eh, di ka mag-init. Pre, ako nagahanap. Kayo, pumuputak. Tapos sasabihin nyo, eh, di wag ako mag-edit mag mag ng, ng video ko. Eh, pre. Ang ina nito, napakaingan nito ang bobong to eh. Sige nga. Ako daw mag-edit. Eh, paano kaya ako sabihin ko sa'yo na, eh, di wag ka mag-apply para hindi ka mukhang tanga? Dito sa part na to, um, there are two things na I want to point out. So sa isip niya, kaya maraming nagagalit sa kanya is tumitingin yung mga tao sa professional rates ng isang uh, editor. 
pero hindi yun yung inahanap niya. So amateur editors lang yung inahanap niya para mag-edit ng mga videos niya. Okay, so yung pangalawang point ko dun sa sinabi niya is wag ka mag-apply para di ka magmukhang tanga. Okay, so gusto ko lang malaman mo uh, Zen Pro if ever man mapunta ka sa video na ito tapos mapunod mo. Uh, yung mga tao na nagsasabi niya sa'yo na uh, unfair yung compensation or like kinikriticize ka dun sa ginawa mo, hindi nila gustong mag-apply bilang editor mo. So bakit nila sinasabi yon? It's because they are standing for the rights of other fellow editors that are overly undercompensated by other clients such as yourself. So, uh, huwag masyadong egotistical, you know? Uh, di naman umiikot ang mundo sa'yo. Ito yung pinapa-edit, pre. Isang clip, min, dalawang hmm. minuto. Ilan ang ilalagay mo? Limang clip, tapos ka na. Sampung minuto, limang clip, tapos ka na. Mga tapos taga-ABS, ipupu- mga taga-ABS yan na editor, kaya di na Ah, kaya pala. <laughs> mga bigatin pala yung mga ABS, ed- mga editor pala ng ABS, pre. Ang problema dito, pre, ito yung mga tipong nag-graduate for ed. Alam mo yun, like, they have a professional like levels of uh, like, ano ba yung tawag doon? Hindi ko alam kung anong klaseng anong klaseng course yung ano yung para sa editing. Pero basically ganun like itong mga to, ito yung mga editor, naging editor dahil pinag-aralan nila. Hindi yung editor dahil passion mo siya kaya inaral mo. Ano yun? Kasi inaral nila, nag-school sila ganun. Pero hindi yung hindi yung mga yung naging editor lang just for gusto lang din mag-edit. Ano daw? Ayun, multimedia. Tapos pre, yung simpleng, yung simpleng 200 to 500 na, ah, uh, tag ito, 200 to 500 per video na, na for hire, papatulan nila, eh, gano'n kayo kababa? Okay, so dito, kinikriticize niya yung mga professional na editors na kinikriticize siya. So basically, sinasabi niya na, hindi naman para sa kanila yung, Uh, job listing niya. Bakit nila pinapatulan yung post niya na job offering na 500 pesos for video editing? Tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, uh, hindi sila nagko-comment or nagbibigay ng criticism or opinion nila para taasan mo yung rate kasi gusto nilang kunin yung um, job offer. Kaya kanila kinikriticize dahil sobrang unfair nung compensation na gusto mong ibigay dun sa editor and they are making a stand for all the editors that are victims of um, unfair clients. So that's pretty much it para dun sa live stream niya. Okay, so nag-issue siya ng uh, apology sa kanyang Facebook page. I made a mistake. I would like to humbly apologize to everyone. In the wake of my incident from Facebook, I am shown that jobs, duties, or work need an ample amount of pay no matter the effort you'd put in especially if it requires technical and or experiential expertise i learned this the hard way and i will never make the same mistake again never from here on i would like i would just like to speak up about this issue first i would like to apologize to everyone who i so utterly offended by my statements whether it came from my live streams or posts I know now that it was wrong and unforgiving on your part. You may not come to forgive me immediately or maybe never, but I would like I would just like to apologize for my wrongdoings. I am deeply and sincerely sorry. Second, I would like to thank everyone for letting me realize the worth of each editor. May it be big or small, I would like to thank everyone who stood up for themselves and their friends or families and showed that their work is worth something and that there are no simple or small tasks. Thank you for waking me up and for letting me realize the huge mistake that I made. Again, I am truly sorry. Third, I would like to extend my sincerest apologies to the brands that I'm carrying and representing. They take no part in my actions as I willfully acted on my own. I take all the blame and I hope that you'd keep them away from this. To my task as family, I am thankful for all the opportunities that you've given to me and for future opportunities that may still come. I've disappointed you for that. I am sorry to my Predator Gaming family. I am sorry for bringing you into this mess. I have no words to say how much I thank you for letting me carry your banner. Now I would like to apologize for stating it. I am deeply sorry to my next play family. I know that you've shown me nothing but great things and given me the pointers I needed to become a better streamer. I also disappointed you and I am greatly sorry. To my Rumble Royale family, thank you for being there and keeping me grounded despite this mishap which I would like to apologize for. I will abide by, my, by the decisions that will be given 
by my actions. To all my fans and community, I'll make sure that I won't make the same mistake again. I'll be respectful and even mindful of what I post or say to anyone. I owe it all to you to do better or be better. Again, I apologize for what I did and I will make everything right once again. Sincerely, Zenpro. That is a great apology. Uh, very formal and very unlike his character too. You know, it's almost like someone made it for him. Hmm. But mind you guys, um, itong apology statement niya ay hindi niyo na makikita sa Facebook page niya. Dinilit niya na to uh, kagabi. I think, ewan, hindi ko alam kung bakit niya dinilit yung uh, apology statement niya. Maybe gagawa siya ng uh, apology video or something. Uh, as of recording, wala pang bagong balita tungkol kay... Zen Pro. Okay guys, so meron pala tayong bagong balita tungkol kay Zen Pro. Apparently, he has been dropped by Predator. They issued a statement. Predator Philippines would like to clear its position following Zen Pro's statement on the issue of unfair compensation to freelance editors. While we take pride on next play and the glory they give the gaming community, we have decided that it is rightful to drop Zenfro from our roster of streaming partners. We are with the people and all the talented creatives who fight their battle to fair settlements. We believe that no work is big or small. As long as one puts out his or her craft and expertise, they deserve to be paid fairly. Predator Philippines is also mindful of the economic and employment situation in the country amidst the COVID-19 pandemic and Zenpro's opinion on the said issues does not reflect ours. We have high respect to the hardworking Filipinos and we believe that we are at a time when everyone deserves compassion and respect. Hoping for everyone's health and safety. Predator Philippines. Okay, so big of to para kay... Uh, Zen Pro, but the thing that I saw the most during this uh, controversy is so many people going after uh, Zen Pro's sponsors, which to me is like, mm, I don't really know how to feel about that because, like, going after someone's sponsor is like a part of the cancel culture, but yeah, a lot of people have been. Um, going after his sponsors and I don't know I don't really know how to feel about it because at the end of the day all of us um, have bills to pay and like if this is Zen Pro's main source of income then magkakaroon siya ng problema and I know that Zen Pro made a huge huge mistake but you know sometimes people gotta gotta chill you know it's like once you made a mistake online everyone just jumps ship to like cancel you and stuff it's as if you're not allowed to make mistakes and be better the day after so yeah I, I don't really feel good about it but it seems to me like predator um, made this decision on their own I don't think they're like forced but I still see um, some people commenting tagging um, some of his other sponsors to drop him as well which is I don't know it's just uh, a low blow okay so in conclusion um, all of this is just a poor business decision made by Zen Pro it could have been easily avoided if he made his post um, clearer. He should have like um, asked for the average rates of editors here in the Philippines. So much things should have been done before he made um, that post. And another thing is that he wouldn't have garnered so much hate if he didn't uh, went on a rant on his live stream. And if only he he had just made uh, an apology sooner, you know things would have wouldn't have been that bad but you know at least we got to see what kind of person Zen Pro is yeah what what do you guys think I'm giving the question back to you what are your opinions on this matter what do you think about people going after his sponsors is it the right way to go or like the wrong way um, let me know by commenting down below and yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.
Peace out.